appreciate this wonderful team. Can we appreciate the Lord for this wonderful ministers? Come on, you can do better than that. Appreciate the Lord. Let's open into our Bibles in the book of Luke chapter 9. Where we have our main scripture this month. Hallelujah. Amen. Open up your heart that may God bl may bless you. I will read in English in Jesus' name. The Bible says from verse 1, when he called his 12 disciples together and gave them power and authority over all devils and to cure diseases. And he sent them to preach the kingdom of God and to heal the sick. And he said unto them, take nothing from your journey, neither staffs, nor scrip, neither bread, neither money, neither have two coats apiece, and whatsoever house you enter into there, abide, and thence depart. Whatsoever shall not receive you when you go out of that city, shake off the very dust from your feet for a testimony against them. And they departed and went through the towns preaching the gospel hearing everywhere verse 7 when Herod the Tetrarch heard of all that was done by him and he was perplexed because that it was said of some that John was listened from the dead and some that Elias and appeared of others that one of the old prophet was listened again and Herod said, John have I beheaded, but who is this of whom I hear such things? And he desired to see him. And the apostles, when they were returned, told of all that they had done. And he took them and went aside privately into a desert uh, place belonging to the city called Bethsaida. Amen. Our Father in and our God, it is not about us. It is about you. Therefore, Lord, the opportunity that you have given us to hear your word and to minister your word, we don't take it for granted. We open up our life for fresh anointing and fresh hearing from you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. If you are here, can you just wave it to me in Jesus' name? I would like to speak to us about exercising power and authority. Exercising power and authority. Amen. Because this is a great secret. This is is a great secret. The devil may not want you to know how to walk in this power and authority. Because it is in this power and authority you are able to put 
the devil where he belongs. Na utaweza kumweka shetani mahali palipo pake. That is what the devil did even in the beginning. Na ndipo shetani akafanya hivi hata pale mwanzo. He was able to uh, deceive Adam. Aliweza kumdanganya Adamu. And Adam was deceived. Na Adamu akadanganyika. Because also Adam kwa sababu Adamu pia had been given this power and authority. Alikuwa ametunukiwa mamlaka haya na pia ametunukiwa nguvu. Another thing about by the authority is actually living in dominion. Na kitu kingine kuhusu nguvu na mamlaka ni kwamba unaishi katika kutawala. Where you are able mahali ambapo unaweza to stand and be able to withstand the enemy's strength and power. Unaweza kusimama na kustahimili nguvu za adui. Hallelujah. Amen. If you can hear me can you say a good amen? Kama unanisikia sema amina nzuri. Now as we were told last Sunday. Kama tulivyoambiwa Jumapili iliyopita, power is ability to do. Ni kwamba nguvu ni uwezo wa kutenda. Ability to do. Uwezo wa kutenda. Authority na mamlaka is the legal right. Ni ile kibali cha kisheria. The legal right. Kibali cha kisheria. For example, kwa mfano, if if you are say the 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 a manager somewhere. Kama wewe ni mkurugenzi mahali. I remember there was a time uh, somebody did that. Na nakumbuka kuna wakati mtu alifanya hivyo. There was some things I was signing where I used to work. Kuna vitu ambavyo mchungaji alikuwa akiweka sahihi mali alikuwa akifanya kazi. And a guy signed just the way I would have signed. Na mtu akaweza kuweza kusign jinsi alivyokuwa akisign. The image looked like mine. Na ikafanana karibu sana na yake. And he was able to take some some things. Na akaweza kunyakuwa vitu fulani. But thank God for the testimony that I carried. Lakini nashukuru Mungu kwa ajili ya ushuhuda na ubeba. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So authority Mamlaka is legal right. Ni ile kibali cha kisheria. Not everyone can exercise this power and authority. Na sio kila mtu anaweza fanyisha kazi nguvu hizi na mamlaka. And we shall be seeing that. Na tutakuwa tukiona hilo. Because hiru. this power and authority kwa sababu nguvu hizi na mamlaka is for disciples of Christ. Ni ya mitume wa Kristo. Now listen to me. Nisikize. Our DNA as the children of God. DNA yetu kama watoto wa Mungu our makeup jinsi tumeumbwa our inherent kila ambacho kiko ndani yetu hallelujah amen it is this power and authority ni nguvu hizi na mamlaka no child of god is weak na hakuna mtoto wa mungu aliye mnyonge if you can hear me can you say amen kama unanisikia sema amina just like our father kama jinsi baba yetu our father is not weak baba yetu sio mnyonge Hallelujah. Amen. So every child of God, na kwa hivyo kila mwana wa Mungu, carries an inherent power and authority. Anabeba ndani yake nguvu na mamlaka. Once you receive him, na mara unapompokea. Hallelujah. Amen. Somebody was talking about another time and he was saying, Mtu akanena kuhusu hili wakati mwingine akasema, I wish the children of God, natamani watoto wa Mungu, the church, kanisa could realize the power they carry wangetambua nguvu wanazobeba like when you mention the name of jesus kama unapolitaja jina la yesu it is such a power ni nguvu namna hiyo haleluya amen when you say the name of jesus ukisema jina la yesu the demon trembles mapepo yanatetemeka Hallelujah. Amen. Can somebody say power? Mtu aseme nguvu. Can somebody say authority? Mtu aseme mamlaka. Now, when we talk about power and authority, tunapanana kuhusu nguvu na mamlaka, it is going back to our position. Ni kurejea mahali palipo petu. Our position. Mahali petu halisi. Our position na mahali hapo petu is when we are walking that power ni wakati ambapo tunatembea kwa nguvu hizi so when the enemy cheats you kwa hivyo adui anapokudanganya or cheats me ama anaponidanganya to move out of our position nitoke mahali pangu that is when he is able hapo ndipo basi anaweza to bring all kinds of things kukuletea mambo ya namna yote and to torment na pia kukufinyilia and to weaken na kukufanya mnyonge hallelujah amen That is why we are bringing this word. Na ndipo tunakuletea neno hili. So that this reality. Ya kwamba ukweli huu of walking in power and authority. Wa kutembea kwa nguvu na mamlaka may become real in you. Uwe halisi ndani yako. If you can hear me can you say amen? Kama unanisikia sema amina. Can you say a big amen? Sema amina kubwa. 
Can you say a better amen? Sema amina ilio bora. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, this power and authority, nguvu hizi na mamlaka, it is not for everyone. Sio za kila mtu. It is should be exercised zafaa kufanyishwa kazi by every believer. Na muamini yeyote ule. Believer. Muamini. Hallelujah. Amen. We must be able to exercise this. Lazima tuanze kufanyisha kazi hili. This is what that has sustained the church from the beginning. Na hili limedumisha kanisa tangia mwanzo. From the times of apostle. Kuanzia wakati wa mitume. The church has been sustained. Kanisa limedumishwa by this power. Na 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 na, na hili. Every time the church has walked in power and authority. Kila mara kanisa limetembea kwa nguvu na mamlaka. Things has been turned upside down. Vitu vimegeuzwa juu chini. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Amen. Even when the revival church was beginning. Hata kanisa wakati wa kawa deliverance ilikuwa ikianza. Because there was a certain revival. Kwa sababu palikuwa na uvuvio wa namna fulani. Hallelujah. Amen. The man who began. Mtu ambaye alianzisha. The man who heard from God. Mtu ambaye alisikia Mungu. Apostle Joka who is still alive today. Mtume Joka ambaye bado yuko hai siku ya leo. 85 years. Miaka 88 baadaye. When I say this, people like Mama Wairimo will be able to remember that. Amtumeje anaposema hivyo watu kama Mama Wairimo watakumbuka hilo. Hallelujah. Amen. And some of us who have heard him. Na wengine ambao tumemmsikia. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Amen. And the word goes that he could go enter into Kenya bus. Na neno lilikuwa neno ambalo lilikuwa lilikuwa linasema kwamba angeingia kwa Kenya bus. Because the church was in Kariokos uh, Social Hall. Kwa sababu kanisa lilikuwa pale Kariokos Social Hall. He could enter into a Kenya bus. Angeingia kwa basi hilo la Kenya bus. And demons start to manifest. Na mapepo yangeanza kujidhihirisha tu. Nasikia <laughs> pale ako hapo tu ameingia. He is just in there. He just walked in. Ni msafiri tu kama wale wengine. As a passenger like anybody else. Mtu akiwa kitile ya, ya, ya nyuma. Somebody sit at the back there. Yeah! Start shouting. Demons are getting. Na kasi inaanza. And the ministry begins. That is our DNA. Na hiyo ndiyo DNA yetu. Amen. We must reject religious spirit by all means. Lazima tukatee roho ambayo ni wa udini kwa njia zote. Hallelujah. Amen. We must reject religious spirit. Lazima tukatee roho wa udini. Because religious spirit, sababu roho wa udini cannot help you. Haiwezi kukusaidia. It makes you comfortable. Inakufanya tu uweze kuwa umestarehe. Hallelujah. Amen. It makes you just to sustain something. Inakufanya tu uweze kuendelesha kitu fulani. Nasema Bwana asifiwe sana. Amen. So this power is for disciples, the believers. Kwa hivyo nguvu hizi ni za mitume waumini not religious followers. Na sio wanaofuata kama dini. I want to say it again. Nataka kurudia hilo. It is for disciples of Christ. Hili ni la wanafuasi wa Yesu wanafuasi. Not religious followers. Na sio wafuasi ambao ni wa dini. Not religious followers. Najua wafuasi wa dini. They were the one in the book of John. Ni wale wa katika kitabu cha Yohana. They were in the temple. Walikuwa pale katika hekalu. But inside the temple. Lakini kule ndani ya hekalu. They were buying and selling. Walikuwa kununua na kuuza. They did not know what the house of God should be used for. Hawakujua kile ambacho nyumba ya Mungu yafaa kutumika nacho. Hallelujah. Amen. Followers they just meet. Wale wafuasi wanakutana tu without expectation hata bila matarajio they have not opened up their hearts for the word of god to change them kwa neno la mungu liwabadilishe they are okay where they are wanafurahia tu walipo praise the lord amen they were there walikuwa pale and when jesus entered na wakati yesu alipoingia he overturned the tables akageuza meza juu chini and he said na akasema quoting Isaiah 56:7 Tukinuku Isaiah 57 My Isaiah. house it is written Nyumba yangu imeandikwa My house shall be called the house of prayer for all people Ya kwamba nyumba yangu itetwe nyumba ya maombi kwa watu wote Hallelujah Amen When you come in the house of God Ukija kwa nyumba ya Mungu It is not an ordinary meeting Sio mkutano tu wa kawaida That is why sometimes people have changed churches to political meetings. Na ndipo sasa watu wakati mwingine watu wamegeuza kanisa kuwa ni mikutano ya kisiasa. To things. Kwa mambo mengine. Outside what the church should be used for. Kufanya mambo kinyume cha kivile kanisa inafaa kutumika. The church mandate. 
Kanisa jukumu la kanisa. Should be so clear. Ilafaa kuwa wazi kabisa. It is a place of prayer. Ya kwamba ni mahali pa maombi. It is a place of meeting God. Ni mahali pa kukutana na Mungu. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We come every day here for Sunday and the other days. Tunakuja kila siku hapa Jumapili na Sunday. But we may meet with God. Lakini ni kwamba tukutane na Mungu. We may hear his voice. Tuweze kusikia sauti yake. Hallelujah. Amen. If you can hear me can you say a good amen? Kama unanisikia sema amina nzuri. Can you say a better amen? Sema amina iliyo sawa. Give the Lord a good hand in the name of Jesus. Sikia bwana makofi mazuri katika jina la Yesu. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So it is not for religious. Na kwa hivyo sio wafuasi ambao ni wa dini. Disciples and believers. Mitume na waumini. They reproduce actively. Wanaweza kuzaishi kuzaana kwa kila mara. They don't wait for them to receive a position in the church. Hawangojei wapatie sehemu ama nafasi kanisani. They know they are part of the kingdom. Wanajua kwamba wao ni sehemu ya ufalme. They know they belong. Wanajua wao ni wenyeji. Hallelujah. Amen. Men may never recognize you. Watu wote kutambua iwezekana hata kutambua. But there is one who sees in secret. Lakini kuna mmoja anaye siri. And there is the one who rewards openly. Naye ndiye ambaye anaweza kuzawadi watu kwa wazi. Because you are labor in God is not in vain. Kwa sababu kazi yako ndani ya Mungu sio bure. Hallelujah. Amen. There are prayers you pray. Kuna maombi ambayo wewe huomba. No one knows. Ambayo hakuna ajuae. There are people you reach out. Kuna watu ambao unawafikia. No one knows. Hakuna ajuae. Hallelujah. Amen. There are people you visit in their weakness. Kuna watu ambao unawatembelea kwa unyoge wao. No one has registered you. Na hakuna mtu ambaye anakuweka. But listen to me. Lakini sikize. There is one who sees. Kuna mmoja aonaye. And he knows how to reward. Na anajua jinsi ya kuweza kukuzawadi. That is a true disciple. Na ni mwanafunzi wa kweli. Can I see how many disciples are we having around? Wote ni wanafunzi wangapi hao halisi ambao tunao? Nasema Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Nasema if you are sure you are a disciple. Kama uko na hakika ni mwanafunzi wa Yesu. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. They reproduce actively. Na wao huzaliana. Huza Religious followers are dormant. Na wale ambao ni wafuasi wa dini wao wanabaki tu. They come when it is convenient. Wanakuja wakati ambapo ni sawa kwao. They come to the service when it is convenient. Wanakuja kwa ibada wakati ambapo ina ina There is a slight reason why not to come to the house of God. Na pakiwa na hivi sababu hata vidogo wanakuja. Kidogo kabisa. Hallelujah. Amen. An aunt comes in the morning. Labda ametembelewa na shangazi yake asubuhi. They are journey to church reaches there. Hiyo inafika hapo mwisho safari yao kwenda kanisani. She never said that she is coming but hakuisema anakuja lakini amekuja. Hallelujah. Amen. This following without being disciples is the one thing that weaken or weakening the church of Christ. Na kufuata huko ambako si kwa kuwa wanafunzi ndiko kunafanya mwili wa Kristo uweze kuwa mdhaifu. Hallelujah. Amen. When we are not disciples. Wakati ambapo hatufukubali kufanyika wanafunzi. It is almost killing the church in West, in Europe and in America. Iko karibu sana kumaliza kanisa kule ma Uingereza na Marekani. Hallelujah. Amen. Now listen to me. Nisikize. Who is this disciple? Mwanafunzi huyu ni nani? Who is this disciple? Ni nani huyu mwanafunzi? A disciple, mwanafunzi is the one who stays fast with Christ. Ni yule ambaye anakaa wakati wote na Kristo. Listen to this scripture. Sikiza andiko hili. Mark 3:14. Marko 3:14. Mark 3:14 when Christ was calling the disciples. Wakati Kristo alikuwa akiwaita mitume. He says this. And he ordained the 12 that they should with they should be with him. And that uh and that he may he might send them to preach you can akaweka watu 10 na wawili wapate kuwa pamoja naye na kwamba awatume kuhubiri hallelujah amen nasema bwana asifiwe sana amen the first sign of a true disciple ishara ya kwanza ya mwanafunzi halisi it is to stay with christ ni kubakia na kristo stay with who kubakia na kristo be with Christ. Kuwa na Kristo ama kuwa ndani ya Kristo. Listen to him. Ukimsikiza. The job description before they were sent to preach. Ile utangulizi wa kazi yao kabla hawajatumwa kuhubiri. 
they were to remain with him. They hear him. That is why they could talk like him. They could do like him. They had observed him. Hallelujah. Amen. That is why in July we are planning to have uh, prayer and fasting. So that we can have a moment to just be with him. Hallelujah. Amen. You may not talk a lot. When Jesus is your friend, you can just remain there and listen to him. Hallelujah. Amen. Like I remember last night, I, he woke up a very good time. And he wakes up you and you don't struggle because Usingizi umetoroka. He wakes you up and the sleep disappears. He is calling you to a place. Then you just listen to him. Let's be friends of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus was calling them to be with him. Do you look forward to be with Christ? Are you too too busy for him? Amen. And then after being with him, then they will be sent to preach. Power and authority can never be entrusted to anybody. It is to the one who has been with Christ. The second thing I want to speak to us. My, my message this, this day is very short. The second thing I want to speak about is it is either you have this power or you don't have. You know, Kenya and I know it's not only Kenya humanity loves counterfeit. Hallelujah. Amen. This power nguvu hizi can never be counterfeited. Hallelujah. Can you talk to your neighbor and tell them you cannot counterfeit this power Hallelujah. Amen. Because the guarantor of this power is Christ himself. You cannot swindle Christ. Na uwezu kamfanya Christo chenga chenga hivi. You cannot. Hawezi. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Amen. That is why it is only exercised by his disciple. Na ndipo sasa inafanyishwa kazi tu na mitume wake pekee. There is brothers that are in uh, Acts 19. Kuna wapendwa ambao walikuwa katika matendo ya mitume 19. The sons of Sceva. Wana wa Sceva. The sons of Sceva. Na wana wa Sceva. I think they were close to Paul. So it's like they watch Paul. They followed him. And they say, this thing, we can also do it. Eh? What is the difference between us and Paul? <laughs> and they said, let's try. They said, we are not going to go alone. But we are going to go seven of us. They thought democracy works in the things of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. It doesn't work. When they went to cast out devils, the Bible says their clothes were and they were wounded. They went away in pain. Hallelujah. Amen. I pray may you seek the authentic power of God. The authentic power is available. It is available. Hallelujah. Amen. 
you can seek God. Unaweza kumtafuta Mungu. You can seek his kingdom. Unaweza tafuta ufalme wake. You can seek his face diligently. Unaweza kumtafuta uso wake kwa hakika. He will be found of you. Naye atapatikana kwako. Nasema Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Can you say a good amen? Sema amina nzuri. Seek to obtain that. Tafuta sana kupata hilo. Because there is so much that is happening even in church. Kuna mambo mengi yanafanyika hata kanisani. People are trying every form. Watu wanajaribu kila aina. Hallelujah. Amen. Some began well. Wengine walianza vema. But after some times, lakini baada ya muda kidogo, when that power and authority went, wakati nguvu hizo na mamlaka ziliondoka, they are now using counterfeit. Sasa wanaanza kutumia nguvu gushi. Hallelujah. Amen. So they are not where they began. Na wako mahali ambapo walikuwa wameanzia. May you seek to obtain that genuine authentic. Wacha utafute sana kupata ile nguvu. May you receive it in Jesus name. Wacha ipokee katika jina lake. May God honor you with it. Wacha Mungu akuheshimu nayo. Hallelujah. Amen. It cannot be bought by money. Na haiwezi kununuliwa na pesa. It cannot be bought by money. Haiwezi kununuliwa na pesa. There is a guy who is called Simon. Kuna mtu mmoja anaitwa Simon. I think he is either in Acts 8 or something. Katika matendo ya mitume 8 pale. I did not put Acts 8 yeah? Yes. Simon. Simoni. The sorcerer. Ambaye alikuwa ni uh, he was mshawi. he was first converted. Aligeuzwa mara ya kwanza. But later on, lakini baadaye, I think he thought akaanza kufikiria. I can still use this power. Bado naweza tumia nguvu hizi. Like I was using sorcery. Kama nilivyokuwa nikitumia nguvu za uchawi. He said, can I buy? Naweza nunua. There are people going to buy. Kuna watu wanaenda kununua. Bwana asifiwe sana. Amen. They are going all over to na, buy. Na wanaenda umbali sana kununua. Can you tell your neighbor it is not bought? Naambia jirani yako hii hainunuliwi. Hallelujah. Amen. And Peter told him. Na Petro akamwambia, Go to hell together with your money. Anaenda kuzimu pamoja na pesa zako. It is not buyable. Hii hainunuliwi, hainunuliki. Because it is for the disciples of Christ. Kwa sababu ni ya mitume wa Kristo pekee. God gives it freely. Na Mungu anaipatiana kwa Freely we have received. Na bure tumepokea. Freely give. Basi bure tupatiane. We have received it free. Tumeipokea bila gharama ya kwetu. Nasema Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Amen. Nasema Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. That is why Peter and John in Acts 3. Na niposa Yohana na Petero pale ya Matayo was able to tell that cripple. Walianza kumwambia yule mlemavu. Silver and gold ya kwamba fedha na na dhahabu we don't have sisi hatuna but such as we have lakini kile tulicho nacho there is such as we have kuna kile ambacho tunacho that is the power and authority nazo ni nguvu na mamlaka haleluya amen and they were able to raise that cripple na wakaweza kumuinua yule mle mavu may you carry that power wacha hey. ubebe nguvu hizo carry that power beba nguvu hizo haleluya amen exercise it na witumie kinofanye kazi nayo It is meant to make a Christian to walk in victory. Na ina maana imekusudiwa kufanya mkristo atembee kwa ushindi. I was telling people in uh, Wednesday. Nikamwambia watu Jumatano, it is out of order. Ni 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 kinyume. It is a mistake. Na ni kosa ama dosari. Hallelujah. Amen. For a Christian, kwa mkristo to suffer spiritual husband. Aweza uh, kungangana na mwanaume ama mume wa kiroho or a spiritual wife ama mke wa kiroho haleluya amen kwamba maroho yanatafuta ni nani inaweza haras usiku na they look for whoever they can harass at night na kwako wanapata landing place and then they land at your place haleluya amen na kama kuna such a landing in your life and if there is such a landing in your life destroy that airport haribu airport hiyo kabisa destroy it uharibu kabisa ya kwamba hakuna mahali ya kutua so that they don't get a place where they can land bwana yesu asifiwe sana amen it's a nera hiyo sari that every night lakini ya kwamba kila usiku you are harassed by spiritual evil dreams wewe unasumbuliwa na na ndoto ambazo ni za mapepo it is a nera hiyo ndio sari especially if you come to this church haswa kama unakuja kanisani humo it's a nera hiyo ndio sari. Na unatakiwa uambie shetani kutoka saa hii hakuna doctor mbaya nitaota. Haleluya. Amen. Nasema Bwana asifiwe sana. Amen. You know I'm saying that because I know. Na unajua nasema hivi kwa sababu najua. Haleluya. Amen. 
There are enemies, evil spirits that come to choke people. Maadui wa roho machafu ambao wanakuja kunyonga watu. Unakuwa choked, unasikia umewe kama mwingine alikuwa analipatia hiyo story. Somebody was giving pastor that story. Kim, kimudu kikubwa kinakujaga tu. Ah? Kimudu kikubwa na hakionagi uso. I doesn't they don't even see their face, but just somebody huge. But muscles. Somebody with huge muscles. Kini uso akiangalia hakuna. When they try to look at their face there's no face. Kini kinakuja tu around saa 8 saa 9. That, that, that huge person appears around kina three, kuja, kina, kina munyonga. Comes and squeezes their, their, their throat to choke them. Love kina and then disappears. To harass too. Just to come and harass. The devil is a liar. Shetani ni muongo. I declare you shall not be harassed. You shall wa. not be harassed. Wewe hauta harassiwa. Hallelujah. Amen. You shall not be harassed. Wewe hauta harassiwa. Bwana asiwe sana. Amen. Na unajua maroho Husemi mimi ni mwanaume ama mimi ni, ni dada. You know for the, for the spirits don't even say you are a man or a woman. Maroho hata haitabui kama wewe ni mwanaume. The spirits don't recognize your, your gender. Haitabui itakuharas. They, they just come and harass you. Irrespective. You could be very strong in the body. Unazakana wewe uko na mwili ambao una nguvu. But when it come to spiritual power. Lakini kifika kwa nguvu za kiroho. It is very very important for you to have it. Ni muhimu sana kwako kuwa nazo. Can somebody say thank you Jesus? Mtaseme asante Yesu. Can somebody say thank you Jesus? Mtaseme asante Yesu. Hallelujah. Amen. This power, nguvu hizi should be pursued. Zafaa kufuatiliwa. More than the way we pursue money or gold. Zaidi ya jinsi tunavyofuatilia pesa ama dhahabu. Because even when you have money, pesa, and you have oppression of the enemy, na na adui, you can't enjoy. You can't enjoy. Sana. Amen. But if you have money, kama una pesa, and you are living a victorious life, na basi ya ushindi, then you can enjoy your life. Basi wako. If you can hear me, can you say amen? Kama sema amina. Now, This power and authority nguvu hizi na mamlaka it is to achieve two main things two ni main kusaidia kuweza kufikia mambo mawili muhimu and the first one jambo la kwanza is to counter or to destroy the forces of darkness ni kuweza kusimama kinyume ama kuharibu nguvu za giza haleluya amen forces of darkness are real na nguvu za giza ni kweli zipo. That is why Jesus is, is saying about his church. I'm building my church. And the gates of hell shall not prevail. Na malango ya kuzimu hayataweza kusimama kile cha. So Jesus know. Kwa hivyo Yesu anajua. There are evil forces. Kuna nguvu za giza. I would like to fight the church. Ambazo zingependa kupigana kanisa. Hallelujah. Amen. So evil forces you cannot ignore them. Na nguvu za giza hauwezi ukazipuuza. You cannot fight them by ignoring. Hauwezi kupigana nazo kwa kuzipuuza. Sema Bwana asiwe sana. Amen. It is to understand they are there. Ni vema ujue kwamba zipo. Sema Bwana asiwe sana. Amen. Nasema Bwana asifue. Amen. Do you know force, those forces they can even refuse you to hear such a message. Unajua hata hizo nguvu zinaweza kuzuilia usisikie ujumbe kama huu. Do you know that is the unfortunate thing? Na njambo ambalo ni baya sana. Bwana asifiwe sana. Amen. You can be in a position hearing this message which is making you free and uh, na hata umechoka. Good you uh, unasikiza ujumbe kama wa kuweka huru lakini it just can not you broke you. Inataka tu kuzuilia. And it is making sure you don't understand this. Inakufanya usielewe mambo. That you may not win spiritual battles. Ili kwamba usishinde vita vya kiroho. Nasema Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. If you can hear me can you say a good amen. Kama unanisikia sema amina nzuri. See I'm building my church. Anasema najenga kanisa langu. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus also says. Na Yesu pia anasema The kingdom of God from the time of John the Baptist the kingdom of God suffered violence. Na kwamba kwanza wakati wa Yohana Mbatizaji ufalme wa Mungu unatekwa kwa nguvu. What is this violence? Na nguvu hizi ni nini? It is violence of evil spirits. Ni nguvu zinazoama mngangano wa roho machafu. Hallelujah. Amen. And they began long time. Na walianza kitambo. When they were fighting the the prophets. Walipokuwa kipigana na manabii. When they were fighting everything called righteousness. Wakipiga utakatifu and Jesus himself 
he is saying I, I know this Na Yesu mwenyewe anasema kwamba from that time ni kuanzia wakati ule the kingdom of God suffers ufalme wa Mungu unaweza kutekwa kwa nguvu and the violent will take it by force na wenye nguvu wataweza kuiteka hallelujah amen this power and authority nguvu hizi na mamlaka it is not to request the enemy please sio za kuuliza adui ama kumbembeleza adui tafadhali Hallelujah. Amen. Why you have power and authority? Sababu una nguvu na mamlaka. It is saying the name of Jesus. Ni kusema kwa jina la Yesu. You are in the wrong place. Wewe uko mahali pasipo sawa. Hallelujah. Amen. Even even as your child. Hata kama ni mtoto wako. Or a relative. Ama ni mtu wa familia. Or things to do with your life. Ama mambo ya kufanya na maisha yako. You say. Unasema devil enough is enough. Shetani imetosha. You cannot continue to operate. Hawezi endelea kufanya kazi. I am apa. also operating. Mahali ambapo pia mimi nafanya kazi. Hmm. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Amen. Because it is the violent that take it by force. Ni kwa sababu ni wenye nguvu wanauteka kwa nguvu. Jesus is able to teach us uh, such. Na Yesu anatufunza mambo ya namna hii. Haleluya. Amen. Nasema Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Power and authority. Nguvu na mamlaka. Listen to me here. Nisikize hapa. It is to fix the devil where he belongs. Ni kumweka shetani palipo pake. There is nothing that makes Jesus to be happy. Hakuna kitu kinamfurahisha Yesu when Christians. Kama wakati wa Kristo. When believers. Wakati wa umini has put the devil where he belongs. Wamemweka shetani palipo pake. Hallelujah. Amen. When sons of God, wakati wana wa Mungu, are living victorious life. Naishi maisha ya ushindi. Hallelujah. Amen. Sema Bwana asifiwe sana. Amen. Ha, hakuna jambo linafurahisha Mungu hivi. There's nothing that can uh, please God as much as that. That is why God expected Adam to defeat the devil. Na ndipo sasa Mungu alitarajia Adam ataweza kumshinda shetani. The devil was still in the same place. Shetani alikuwa ni yule yule. But with dominion lakini kwa mamlaka God knew Mungu alijua I put in our power ya kwamba nimemweka nguvu hizo so that you can be able to put the devil where he belongs ili kwamba mweke shetani mahali palipo pake this power and authority nguvu hizi na mamlaka we are supposed to exercise it tafaa kuzitumia in such a way kwa njia kwamba that the enemy is put where he belongs adui anawekwa palipo pake God does not need to fight him na Mungu hahitaji kupigana na huyo. God does not need to fight the devils and the demons. Mungu hahitaji kupigana na mapepo na shetani. He said I've given you. Anasema nimewapatia nguvu. So God does not need to deal with them. Kwa hivyo Mungu hahitaji kushughulikia hao. Hallelujah. Amen. He said I have sons. Anasema watoto wetu. I have daughters. Na wana binti wetu. Who will frustrate ninao binti na manawana ambao wataweza kufanya kugadilisha na kumfanya shetani be frustrated in his work agadhabishwe katika kazi yake haleluya amen that is why the bible says and posa biblia inasema that the the earth or the creation groans ya kwamba uumbaji una una unahuzunika kama manifestations of the children of god ukitarajia kudhihirishwa kwa wana wa mungu who can walk victoriously ambao wanaweza kutembea kwa ushindi who can exercise this power and authority ambao wanaweza kufanyisha kazi nguvu hizi na mamlaka hallelujah amen how many are saying i'm, I'm part of them i'm Wangapo part of them mimi ni sehemu ya hao to count hallelujah amen nasema bwana asifiwe sana amen it gives god's pressure inampatia mungu furaha there was a time jesus the bible says he rejoiced kuna wakati Biblia inasema kwamba Yesu akafurahia. I don't remember where that scripture is. He rejoiced in the spirit. Alifurahia katika roho. And he said, Akasema, "Thank you God." Asante Mungu. That you have revealed this. Kwamba umedhihirisha hili to the babies. Kwa watoto. Maybe the guys who are there, uh, the people who uh, the brethren who Wana are there. Wana mitambo wanaweza kuangalia Amen. And you have hidden it. Na umeificha. Hallelujah. Amen. When this thing is revealed, wakati ambapo jambo hili limedhihirishwa, God rejoices. Mungu hufurahia. May you make God to rejoice. Wacha usababishe Mungu afurahie. Hallelujah. Amen. May you make God to rejoice. Wacha ufanye Mungu afurahie. When you have established his kingdom, wakati ambapo umesimamisha falme yake, yani umemsimamia hapa duniani. You have represented him here on earth. 
umemsimamia you have represented him kama mtoto wake as his child hallelujah amen. so that is one thing na hiyo ni jambo lingine nasema bwana asifiwe amen and these forces of darkness na nguvu hizi za giza they manifest in two ways zinadhihirisha kwa njia mbili they manifest in two ways and one zinadhihirisha kwa njia mbili ya kwanza it is spiritual captivity ni katika umateka wa kiroho that or bondage ama kuwekwa kufungwa mateka hallelujah amen and i think i was saying this something that we need na nilikuwa nasema hili ni jambo ambalo tunahitaji even as a nation of kenya hata kama taifa la kenya as we usher in revival tunapokaribisha uvuvio it is important that we have to be liberated ni vema sana tuweze kuwekwa huru spiritual captivity a katika hali ya kiroho spiritual bondages kutolewa kwa mateka wa kiroho haleluya amen nasema bwana asifiwe amen because sometimes christians kwa sababu wakati mwingine wa kristo you got saved una umeokoka uliokoka but you are not living a victorious christian life lakini bado hauishi maisha ya ukristo ya ushindi there are many christians kuna wakristo wengi who do not enjoy salvation ambao hawafurahii wokovu salvation ni kungangana sa wokovu kwao ni it's a struggle bwana asiwe sana amen may you have the joy wacha uwe na furaha being a christian ya kuwa mkristo joy of coming to the church furaha ya kuja kanisani joy of serving god furaha ya kumtumikia mungu haleluya because when you are delivered from all those sababu utakapokombolewa kutoka yote haya you start rejoicing to do things that pertains to godliness unaanza kufurahia kufanya mambo ambayo ni ya kiungu there is a lot to say about spiritual captivity kuna mengi ya kunena kuhusu umateka wa kiroho and the other thing that manifest na njia nyingine ya pili ambayo huwa inajidhihirisha it is sickness and diseases ni katika ugonjwa na maradhi sickness and diseases magonjwa na maradhi if there is something that christ insists kama kuna kitu ambacho kristo anatisikiza we must fight ya kwamba lazima tupigane nacho because they have their roots in the enemy ni kwa sababu ina mizizi yake kutoka kwa adui let's read one scripture here in acts 10 Tusome andiko moja katika matendo ya mitume. Acts 10. Matendo ya mitume 10. Verse 38. Aya 38. The Bible says how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with the power. Who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil for God was with him. You can read it kindly. Amen. Matendo ya mitume 10:38. Habari za Yesu wa Nazareti jinsi Mungu alivyomtia mafuta kwa Roho Mtakatifu na nguvu naye akazunguka huko na huko akitenda kazi jema na kuponya wote walionewa na ibilisi kwa maana Mungu alikuwa pamoja naye Listen to that mandate Hebu sikiza jukumu hili That mandate Jukumu hili Jesus was anointed Yesu alikuwa alitoa mafuta to heal aweze kuponya mm. and to deliver na kuweza kukomboa wote those that were oppressed ambao walikuwa wamefinyiliwa na ibilisi haleluya amen yani the summary of his ministry ya kwamba muktasari wa huduma yake is about dealing with the devils ni kuhusu kushughulikia mapepo so if we want to be the mission of christ na kwa hivyo kama unataka kuwa katika misheni ya kristo that is our job description basi kazi yetu imeelezewa pale uliza mtu when did you last cast out a devil ask somebody wewe ulikemea pepo na ukiona hakuangalii vizuri and they are not looking at you nicely uongee na huyo mwingine dio asikasirike turn to the other neighbor so that you don't annoy that one muliza when did you cast last cast out ask them ulikemea pepo lini mara ya mwisho Uliza huyo mwingine kama huyo hakujibu when did you last pray for a sick person Ask the other neighbor if the other one is not answering you uliombea mgonjwa mara ya mwisho lini Hallelujah Amen Can you say a good amen Amen Can you say a good amen Amen So if you have not been doing that you have not been working Kwa hivyo kama hujakuwa kufanya hiyo hujakuwa kufanya kazi There is a work 
part of the main job. De- you know, there, 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 in job description, there is main. I can tell you. Kuna yale majukumu ambayo ni maalum. And there are others which are called others. Na kuna yale mengine ambayo anaelezoa kuwa ni mengine yatakayoongezewa. Could be your any other duty. Kuna kitu inaitagwa any other duty. Kuna hiyo inaitwa any other duty kwa kimombo. So in Christian could we be probably doing any other duty more? Na kama mkristo inawezekana unafanya hiyo nyingine ambayo ni za ziada zaidi. Hallelujah. Amen. Nasema Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Nasema Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Listen to the great commission just to remind you. Sikiza kuhusu Mark 16. Mtu mkuu katika Marko 16. Mark 16. Marko 16. From verse 15. Kuanzia aya 15. The Bible says, And he said to them, Go into all world and preach the gospel to every creature that believe be baptized shall be saved but he that believe not shall be damned and these signs shall follow them that believe in my name shall they cast out devils they shall speak with new tongues they shall take up serpent and if they drink any deadly thing it shall not hurt them they shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover you can read in kiswahili mtasoma kwa kiswahili ni mariko 16 kuanzia aya 15 akawaambia enendeni ulimwangu uh, ulimwanguni mwote mkaihubiri um, injili kwa kila kiumbe aaminie na kubatizwa ataokoka asiyeamini atahukumiwa na ishara hizi zitafuatana na hao waaminio kwa jina langu watatoa pepo watasema kwa lugha mpya watashika nyoka hata wakinywa kitu cha kufisha ha- hakitawadhuru kabisa wataweka mikono juu ya wagonjwa uh, juu yao wagonjwa nao watapata afya Wow. Amen. Wow. Amen. The first thing they shall do is ukatoweka mikono. Yes? Ah uh, jambo la kwanza la kwamba ni la kwanza ni kwamba wata wataweza kukemea mapepo. Watatoa pepo. Believe us. Mm. The second na jambo la pili ni kwamba uh, watasema kwa lugha mpya. The third Jambo la tatu ni kwamba watashika nyoka hat, uh, watashika watashika nyoka hata wakinywa kitu cha kufisha hakitawadhuru kabisa. The fourth wataweka mikono juu yao juu ya wagonjwa nao watapata afya. That is the work of disciples. Na hiyo ndio kazi ya, ya wanafunzi. Not pastors. Si wachungaji. Believers. Hao ni waumini. Hallelujah. Amen. When did you last do one of it? Ulifanya moja haya mara ya mwisho lini? Those four, there are four. Haya manne. Hallelujah. Amen. Nasema Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Now, as I end, napotamatisha. This power and authority, nguvu hizi na mamlaka is not for feel good experience. Sio za kufanya ujihisi vema. It is not for feel good. Sio za kufanya ujihisi vema. Hallelujah. Amen. You know in the church like now when we sing in tongues it's so sweet. Unajua katika kanisani unaponena kwa ndimi unasikia utamu sana. But when it is activated, lakini inapofanyishwa kazi, it is not for you. Sio yako. When they received power and authority, walipopokea nguvu na mamlaka, they were sent. Walitumwa. They went out. Wakatoka nje. Hallelujah. Amen. It is not for pride. Na sio ya kiburi. It is not for pride. Sio ya kiburi. It is not for selfish gain. Na sio kwa sababu ya binafsi kupata uh, kujipatia kitu binafsi. Hallelujah. Amen. Nasema Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Yeah. Because some some brethren can cast out one demon. Kwa sababu wapendo wengine wanaweza kemea pepo moja. And they cannot even listen to their pastor again na baada ya hapo hata msikize hata mchungaji wao tena and they will begin a church na wataanza kanisa demon casting away ministries international na kichwa cha kupokemea mapepo huduma ya kukemea mapepo hallelujah amen na mleta watu wale wako na hizo ni and they indicate bring everybody who has this 
demons. That is a common thing for a believer. Hili ni jambo linafaa kuwa la kawaida kwa muamini. Can you tell somebody it's common? Mwambie jirani yako hili ni la kawaida. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Amen. So it's not for selfish gain. Na kwa hivyo si kujipatia manufaa. It's not for self exaltation. Na si kujiinua binafsi. It is to do the work of the ministry. Ila ni kufanya kazi ya huduma. It is to be able to propagate the gospel. Ni yaweza kuendeleza ufalme. Hallelujah. Amen. It must be used to execute or to advance the agenda of God. Yafaa kutumika kueneza agenda ya Mungu. Hallelujah. Amen. Sema Bwana asifiwe. Amen. And I am saying actually the second thing because of this power. They were sent now to preach the kingdom. Na jambo la pili kwa ajili ya nguvu hizo walitumwa kwenda kuhubiri injili. Hallelujah. Amen. The power and authority is to establish the governance of God. Na nguvu na mamlaka ni za kuweza kusimamisha utawala wa Mungu. Hallelujah. Amen. In verse 7, aya 7, where we have read in Luke chapter 9, ambapo tumesoma Luka mtakatifu 9, as we close for prayers, tunapata matisha ili tuombe. He say, now Herod the tetrarch heard of all that was done by him and he was perplexed because that he was said of some that John was risen. Uh from the dead bwana asifiwe sana amen herod had what was done of him herod akasikia kilichokuwa kimetendeka what does that mean inamaanisha nini the works of disciples kazi ya mitume were attributed to jesus ziliweza kwa kwa kushikanishwa na yesu you are using power and authority ukitumia nguvu zako nguvu na mamlaka should be attributed to christ yafaa kuelekezwa kwa kristo let people say ni mungu watu waseme it's god let people know it is god watu watu wajue ni mungu they start say they they were saying these disciples walikuwa nasema wa mitume hawa they actually attributed to christ waliweza kuashiria mambo hayo kwa kristo it is until ni hadi wakati When the work that you do kazi yako itayambao unafanya even if you do the healing in, or you do the casting of the enemy kama ni kuponya ama kukemea mapepo ikuwe attributed to god ni hadi wakati ambapo utaweza kuashiriwa kwa Mungu haleluya amen they were saying it is him na wakasema ni yeye nasema bwana yesu asifiwe sana amen can you give the lord a good hand in the name of jesus christ sikia kuna makofi mazuri katika jina la yesu You must never forget that this power is delegated. Ya kwamba nguvu hizi zimepatianwa. And it can be taken away. Na zinaweza nyakuliwa. That is why you need Jesus every time. Na ndipo sasa wahitaji Yesu kila mara. You need to remain in him. Wafaa kubakia pamoja naye. Actually when they did all that in verse 10 they said they returned to Christ. Na baada ya kufanya yote hayo katika aya ya 10 nasema wakarejea kwa Kristo. Una, una, kwa they mungu. did not say now we don't need you Christ. Let's continue with our work. Tuendelee na kazi yetu. Hallelujah. Amen. You must always remember this power. Kumbuka kila mara kwamba nguvu I'm carrying it's not mine. Ambazo ninabeba sio zangu. It is delegated. Hizi nguvu nimepatiwa tu. And you know they remember two great men which, no, which we, we may talk about later on. Walikumbuka watu wawili wakuu ambao tutaweza kunenea wakati mwingine. They likened those actions to John the Baptist. Walifananisha matendo haya na Yohana Mbatizaji and Elijah. Na Elia. You know those are two men. Na hao ni watu wawili who walked in power and authority. Ambao walitembea kwa nguvu na mamlaka. John could stand against the government of that day. Na Yohana angesimama kinyume cha serikali ya wakati ule. And tell the askaris. Naambia wale askari, you must not continue to corrupt hamfai kuendelea katika ufisadi haleluya amen when they came what must we do to get saved walipokuja na kumuuliza tufanye nini tuokoke he called them brood of vipers aliwaita kizazi cha nyoka and they continued to follow him na wakaendelea kufuata tu and the bible says na biblia nasema in the wilderness of jordan katika jangwa ya yordani haleluya amen There were so many who came to be baptized. Kuna watu wengi walikuja kuweza kubatizwa. And you can hear how he preached. Na unaweza sikiliza alivyohubiri. Baraswe sana. Amen. If I preach like that, will I see you on Sunday? Nikihubiri namna hiyo naweza kuona Jumapili ifuatayo. Baraswe sana. Amen. 
Susan, one on our own, Amen. If I preach exactly like that, Nikubiri namna hiyo kanisani. Ajua hata wachungaji wangu watanipeleka kwa kona waniambie mchungaji kwani Mchungaji knows even pastors will call him aside and ask him what what went wrong somewhere. Bwana asifiwe sana. Amen. But that was the preaching. Lakini ilikuwa ni mahubiri of John the Baptist. Na Yohana mbatizaji. Elijah Elia understood to walk in power and authority. Alijua jinsi ya kutembea kwa nguvu na mamlaka. And he faced the king of that day. Na akaweza kumbana na ule mfalme wa wakati ule. Hallelujah. Amen. Nasema Bwana asifiwe. Amen. He told him you. Akamwambia mfalme. There will be no rain. Hakutanyesha. For three and a half years. Miaka mitatu na nusu. Until I say it. Hadi nitakaposema tena. That was men under power and authority. Hawalikuwa ni watu waliokuwa chini ya mamlaka. He understood to exercise it. Even John he said he tell Herod return. Hata Yohana anamwambia Herod rejesha the wife of your brother. Mke wa ndugu yako. He never feared to die. Hakuogopa kifo. So Herod is saying has John resurrected. Na Herod anauliza kwani Yohana amefufuka? And others are saying it could have been Elijah. Mwingine anasema inawezekana ni Elia. These are people who walked in power and authority. Hawa ni watu waliotembea kwa nguvu na mamlaka. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Amen. Can you just lift up your hand and tell the Lord thank you Jesus. Ninao mikono yako mwambie Mungu asante. In the name of Jesus Christ. Tell Jesus I want to walk in this power and authority. Mwambie Mungu nataka kutembea kwa nguvu hizi na mamlaka katika jina la Yesu. In the name of Jesus Christ. Speak to him even when you are seated there. Neno na Mungu atupoke pale. Mwambie tu Mungu. In the name of Jesus Christ. Reba shakata reba shanda. Rianda reba sekere kataba. Rabo seke taba shanda rekata baseka ria baseke terekata reba shanda rabo shakata reba seke tareba in the name of Jesus Christ Lord we thank you for you are releasing this power and authority upon us even as a church in the name of Jesus Christ rise up on your feet in the name of Jesus Christ reba seke taba shanda raba seka hallelujah I don't know whether our choir you know this song. He reigns, he reigns with the power and majesty. Something like that. Aha, wonderful. He reigns forevermore. He reigns, he reigns. Kidogo tugoje watu wambia because I don't remember kama ni power and majesty ama he reigns, he reigns with power and majesty. 